Hi, my family. So we just got back last night. And you know when you get back home, it doesn't matter how long you went away. You want some home-cooked food. So the first, the quickest thing I can think about and that we had right there that was so fresh is some nice beef uh, with the bones and marrows and everything with aloo that we get from Mommy Bibi's. I get the beef from Mommy Bibi's. So we'll cook some curry style. I have all my aromatics here and also all my fresh masala curry spices and turmeric over here i also am cooking some dal i'm cooking some dal as well you know like we need a little energy dal is a good thing for energy um you know we've been going on stuff for the last like week and a half uh gone to jamaica we had such a great time I know, uh, got great food, the people are wonderful, such great time guys, so much to share, so much more to share about Jamaica. What I have here for us, this is some green cardamom, uh, cinnamon and some cloves, we'll put that in there to start fry up. And then also some curry leaves. We'll put in our onions and some chai. Look how good this is looking. I'm so excited for this meal. Here is all our masala, curry powder, uh, turmeric or the saffron, and also some salt. And mix it up here with a little bit of water. Making it into a paste, you know. So now I'm going to put in my paste of the curry masala paste. Want to get all that nice flavor out of there. Now I'll put in our garlic and our pepper. The meat is already seasoning with uh, green seasoning, celery, and uh, some thyme, and uh, some cilantro. I'm cutting up some nice uh, garlic, some raw garlic to, to, to chunky the dal, and I also have some raw jeera there. And I'll do it with the curry leaves. These three ingredients I'll be chunking the dal with. Come check out how nice the masala is already cooked up. And now we're gonna put in and make sure the masala cook nicely. And now we'll put in our beef. Put in here now. cooking with this dish for a little vegetable or greens I have some karaili or karaili uh, karaila this is also part of the bitter melon gourd and um, it's all frozen so I on it and what you need to do now is I'm just like squeeze out the excess water before you cook it okay let's stir this in we'll stir in the masala and the curry paste into the meat and let this bone in nicely and then we'll add hot water to tenderize the put definitely in I don't the screen is okay. potato definitely will be uh, faster than the meat so you can take all the potatoes uh, before the meat. Take it out and then add it again later. I like to put the potatoes or the aloo uh, for Tommy and John. John likes the potatoes in there. Okay. 
everything is in here that I need, John. Guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cover this. I like going to and start the process of the cooking. This is my Dutch oven pan. The pan that started, a pot that started Sandy's backyard kitchen. I'm so excited to cook in it. All the special dishes cooked in there. And now let's chunk your dog. Friends, so let's chunk it. Here we go guys, we are chunking the dal, so I put some uh, some raw jeera in there. So we have our jeera in there guys, check it out. I'm using the same pan to go cook up my karayla, so that's why I use this bigger pan. Put some uh, curry leaves in there and also... Uh, Mmm, the aroma in here is so nice. Smell like dal. I'm cooking dal. You know when you cook dal, everybody know when you're passing in a village and you're cooking dal. You can smell it all over the aroma. I want that house to smell like that. I cover it I let that aroma goes in there don't open it and then about five minutes then you stir that up okay let's go cook some karayla now the karayla very simple onion and I have some shies from the garden Some tomatoes. And very simple with the carillo. Carillo, you can do any vegetables or green like greens like this. Uh, so we have some tomato here, onion and garlic, and also some nice cut bunny pepper. Put in our karaya. Salt to taste. And then you just stir it in and put it on a medium heat until it's cooked. Check on it. It's still, it's still uh, springing its natural juices. When this is finished, then you put the hot water in there. This is looking good. Oh, that's going to be so good. It smells good, guys. Now, dal, let's um, go take the dal a little bit. Look at that. Mmm, smells delish. Smells so nice. Dal is ready. You can put some uh, moringa leaves, you can put baji, you can put okra, anything in it. But right now it's a little plain for us here today. Look at that nice dal, huh? And I'll put in my scotch bonnet in there to, um, how good that dal is looking. My scotch bonnet to steam. I don't cook it very spicy. I don't like oh, terribly spicy, but I do like a little spice. But Tommy and John likes less spice than I do. So that's why I like my pepper to steam on top as well. Okay. Let's 
this second our Coryla, Coryla. As soon as the Coryla is tender, it's finished, my friends. I don't like to cook it too brown. I like it steamed. Oh, the smell of the curry is everywhere. I love that smell. It smells so good the way I want it to smell. And the curry will get about a few more minutes. See, all that is natural water, natural juices from the chicken. I mean the meat. Our meat is already bungee nicely. Check it out. Now we'll add our hot water. I'm cooking inside, guys, because we, like I said, we just got home, still tired, and um, quickest way to cook. Put a little extra water there. We have some big pieces of meat in there. Mmm, look at those nice, nice big bone of marrow. Now I'll put this on a nice, medium, low heat. I like to take its time and cook. All the potatoes. So I'll just put it at the end. It's already like pretty half cooked. I want it, I want this to start the cooking process and almost finished, I'll put the potatoes again. But I like to bungee the potatoes when I'm bungeeing my meat at the same time. So what I'm doing, I went and get some moringa leaves. I thought I didn't want to put any moringa leaves, but we need energy, especially when you're traveling and so you're around so many people. You want to come home and drink ginger tea, moringa tea, a lot of vitamin C, you know. So I'm putting in some moringa leaves, fresh moringa leaves from the garden. And that's it guys, I turn the stove off and let it just steam. I took out my pepper already because it's already steamed. And our doll is finished, look how good that's look. Be strong and healthy, you can just drink it as a soup as well and put little vegetables in there or a little bit of rice, how good is that gonna be? Ooh, delicious, delicious. Let me show you my curry. Look how good that's looking. It's cooking down. It has about maybe another 10 to 15 minutes before it completely tenderizes. Hey, Kitty. Kitty wants to go outside. You can go out there, bud. Dal and rice. Curry is finished, and we already ate like half the pot. So I put it in a smaller pot and we're having some leftovers uh, for this morning. This is when I cook, what I cooked when I got home la uh, yesterday. And this nice beef curry with aloo or the potato. Put some pepper there to steam. So I'm gonna know now, just put some chives. Or, um, yeah. And some, uh, and also some fresh thyme, some fresh thyme. I'll cook with a little bit of gravy for we have dal puri and also rice to go with it. 
Of course, the doll is finished. Check out my nice pepper from the garden. Doll is finished, guys. Let's make, I'll make this plate, guys. So I have my Karaila or the Karaili. I'll put in some dal in here now. Oh, this curry is so tender and flavorful. Nice gravy as well. Here we go, lunch is ready, my friends. Thank you so much for being part of us. Thank you for subscribing. I have so much more to share with you of Jamaica. We had such a great time and also thanks. And um, I need a little bit of rest. I know, I know. But you know how excited to get your home cooking, okay? Excited. Love you guys.